What's going on guys, Dan Watson, Learning Cameras. I gotta show you this tutorial because it is awesome. Uh, Adobe recently took Adobe Lightroom and they made a Lightroom Classic and brought out CC. But the whole point of all this is to have you syncing between your desktop and your laptop and your mobile device. Well, this is something that we can actually do in Lightroom Classic. We've been able to do it for a couple of years now. So I'm gonna show you how I take all of my catalogs. I can open up any catalog from any computer edit raw files as if I had the raw files stored locally, but I don't, they're on external drive somewhere else, and I can export, save them to my mobile device, do anything that I want. So let's dive in to Adobe Lightroom Classic now, and I'm gonna show you how to do this, really cool. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually create a new catalog, and here's what matters, is where we're gonna put this. So we're gonna put this new catalog inside of this folder right here, it's called Creative Cloud Files. It should have been created automatically, when you loaded up Adobe Creative Cloud. However, if you wanna do this inside of Lightroom or Dropbox, you can, it's not a problem. The only reason I use this is because only my Adobe files are in this. So if I have some kind of crazy large document that's not syncing, it doesn't mess it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and create this inside of Lightroom Projects. I'm gonna call this Sync Test 2. And we're gonna go ahead and create this catalog. Now, because it's inside of a synced folder, it means that this catalog and everything inside of it is gonna be available on everything that I have this on. So if you did it in Dropbox and every computer you have access to Dropbox on, you're gonna have availability to open your uh, Lightroom catalog and everything contained in there. And that's gonna be key for us. So once this is actually created, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and set up Lightroom Mobile. Click on my name right here, whatever is on the top left of your screen, and I'm gonna hit start. And this is the sync with Lightroom Mobile, it was off by default. And now this is gonna set up the needed folders and get everything uh, set to be able to sync between this catalog and Lightroom Mobile. So you can only sync one catalog with your phone. That's the only limitation. So most of the time I'm not doing it with every catalog. I have my personal uh, catalog that I use for all of you know, pictures of my kids and stuff like that. And that's what I'm syncing to my mobile device, not everything. And so it actually created a couple folders right here. You'll see from Lightroom Mobile. So that's all of my images that I have and import into Lightroom Mobile on my phone are gonna come into this. Now, what is nice is I can create something called a collection and a collection. I can just put any image inside of this collection. And what's nice is this button right down here and it says sync with Lightroom CC. So only the things in this collection are actually gonna sync with Lightroom CC. Not every image I import will be synced, just these. So I'm gonna create one called Sync, and we're gonna create that. And now I've got this folder right in here that will be synced to Lightroom Mobile. So now let's open up some raw files. So these images are actually from a trip we just took with Sony to Sedona, Arizona to try out the new A7R 3 If you wanna see some stuff on this camera, it's really cool, click that link up there. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring in like two images, so let's say that one, and, uh, and let's try that one and see what we got. So I'm gonna bring in those two images. Now this is key right here, build smart previews. Smart previews are like raw light files, and the cool thing is they're contained within the catalog. So these are gonna be synced between all of our computers in Dropbox or Adobe CC, wherever we saved this catalog, those will be synced. And they're small, they're really, really small file sizes, but you can edit them like a raw, change your white balance, all that stuff. The only limitation you can only export to about 2,500 pixels, which is good enough for everything except like a 20 by 30 print. So I'm gonna click on build smart previews, now these are gonna be importing into my local hard drive. You don't want them in the synced folder. You want your raw files stored uh, either on an external drive or on your local computer. And then these smart previews are what's gonna be synced inside of that. So I'm gonna hit import. So once these are importing, you're gonna see that it's actually building some smart previews right here. This can take a little while depending on your computer. These are raw files, so I can go ahead and edit these just like raw files. I can change my white balance completely with no issues lower some highlights, put on some contrast. It's a little warm. So yeah, basically I can do whatever I want to these files right here, dim down my exposure. And this is now a perfectly good raw file edit. And I can go in here as well to this one. And I'm not gonna do a full edit on this one, but let's say I wanted to do a crop on this one real quick and we're gonna crop it to like there. So that's my crop on that one. So these are now edited and finished raw files. These are gonna be synced with uh, all of my catalogs and Adobe Creative Cloud. So I can open up this catalog on any computer right now. It's gonna pull open with these. I can edit these raw files further on any computer and that is awesome. So let's talk about how we wanna sync right here. Again, this is my synced folder right down here called sync. It's showing me that there's a little sync icon right here. 
there is nothing in these. Now, with collections, all you have to do is take these images right here, and you can actually just drag them right into that collection. And now they are in that synced collection, and it says right up here that we're syncing photos. So Lightroom is actually right now syncing these images with all of my mobile devices that have Adobe Lightroom installed on there. So I can actually open up Adobe Lightroom on here, and these photos are gonna populate. So now looking at my phone, I actually have these images that have already imported themselves into this. So I can actually click on this and I can see that these are right here down to the edits. I can see that the crop is in place on this one. And so I now have this images synced. It, it literally took like 15 seconds on my phone. And this is great because I can now edit this file further. I can post it to Instagram, whatever I need to do, it is here. And as I come in and make changes to this, so let's go ahead and uh, let's change this from a vertical crop and let's go horizontal with it. All right, so now it says syncing photos right here and I can come back onto my phone and I can see that now the crop is in place. And so yeah, just like that, all of the edits took place. So again, this is how I do things. Everything can be synced from your mobile device to your catalog. You can import images in here and they end up on your computer. It is really cool. Only the images on here that you wanna sync. So let's say I come down to the synced folder and I say, you know what? I don't want this synced anymore. I can actually right click on this and hit remove come from collection. It will still be on there. So if you click on no, they will not be synced anymore with your other devices. So if I come back on here, I can see that this is no longer synced here. Now it's still in my images. It's still on my computer. It's just no longer synced on this. And so if I pop down on my, my synced folder, I can see that this image is here. And as I look on my phone right now, that image was gone and I only have the one image that I have on here. So yeah, that's it guys, it's so simple. All of my images are available on every computer, raw files, editing, exporting. It doesn't matter where your raw files are stored and you can sync to your mobile device just like that. Hope you appreciate this tutorial, guys. Please hit like and subscribe if you did like it. More like this to come. Hope this was really helpful in showing you how to sync your catalogs and do this with multiple devices. This is really cool. You don't need Lightroom CC. Appreciate your guys' support by checking out the links below, doing your shopping using those links. Awesome, I appreciate all that you guys do and for making this possible for me to be here right now. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. I hope it is great for you guys and stay tuned. There's a whole lot more videos to come.